Now, one of the stories that we cover a lot here on the programme is the competition between the US and China. Well, that competition is now taking place on a new battleground outer space. Today a Chinese rocket was launched into orbit taking three astronauts to China's space station. It's named Tiangong which translates to Heavenly Palace. Well one of the crew members on the Shenzhou 16 mission, Gi Haochang, is the first Chinese civilian to go into space but he won't be the last as there uh, are sure to be as many more as China looks to grow its presence in space. Uh, so, what does all of this mean for the United States and for NASA? I'm pleased to say that former NASA astronaut who was once commander on the International Space Station, that's Leroy Chow, joins us now. Leroy, thank you for being with us. So much I want to talk to you about tonight, but talk to me first of all about the significance of China rejoining the space race. What does this mean? China has been making slow and steady progress in their human spaceflight program since they first flew uh, their first Chinese national astronaut, Yang Li Wei, back in 2003. So here we are, 20 years later, they're demonstrating that they can do space station operations, long duration flights. They've been doing it now for a little over two years. This is the fifth mission that is launched to their space station, a, a crew rotation. They've demonstrated they can do spacewalks, spacewalk assembly, and now they've launched their first scientist astronaut to the space station. So they're showing steady progress and an impressive operational tempo uh, that they lacked in the early days of their program. Uh, what will be the main focus of this mission? What are they hoping to achieve? Uh, they're hoping to continue to show that they can smoothly conduct operations aboard a space station. Uh, it's been permanently crewed since it was finished built. You know, they finished building it in 2021. And the addition of a, a science astronaut, that means that person's main job is going to be doing the actual investigations, the research work. While the other two astronauts will be helping with that, their primary job will be to do the, the maintenance, the scheduled maintenance on the station, as well as to you know fix things that break down and make sure that uh, everything is still working well. Um, and of course, China trying to play catch up with both the United States and Russia after maybe belatedly uh, matching their milestones each and every time. Um, is there a chance for China to get ahead here? Well, what China has done is shown that they can do the same things that NASA and NASA's partners have been doing aboard the International Space Station. Now, their, their station is a lot smaller. It's only about 20 percent the mass of the ISS. But still, they're showing that they can maintain uh, a crew on board and they can continue operations. And they're looking ahead. They're, they've announced, I believe, with the, the timing of this launch, something that doesn't surprise any of us in the business. Uh, but they have formally said that they're going to launch their astronauts to the moon, to the surface of the moon. Uh, before 2030, before the end of 2030. So, you know, depending on when NASA can get um, Amer American astronauts back to the moon, they may actually be able to get there before we get there again. And so people might say, well, that's not a big deal because NASA went there first in 1969 true but we haven't been back since 1972 and so you know if they actually do get their astronauts there first it will be well, a little bit of an upset of the of the status quo Leroy what's it like up there Oh, it's <laughs> it's fantastic. It's uh, being in space is uh, a little bit like being in a dream. I mean, you're working very hard, but then every now and then you have a moment to to look out the window, or if you're out on a spacewalk, just to pause and and look at the Earth and say, "Wow, I'm I'm really up here. I'm really doing uh, these kinds of things and uh, looking down at our planet." It's uh, it's a really uh, a surreal experience. Would you want to go again? I would love to chance to go to the moon. I've spent, uh, let's see, a little over 229 days in orbit. So I feel like I've kind of done that. It's like eating a big meal. I'm not hungry again <laughs> yet, but I would love a chance to go to the moon. So blase. Uh, it's been so good to talk to you. Leroy, thank you so much. Fascinating insight about how all of this works. Uh, really, really good to talk to you. Thanks for being with us on the programme.